cool that all these competitors come from DreamArt, come all the way up from Brazil. Oh yeah, no, there's uh, they are a powerhouse, the DreamArt professional team. They have some of the most elite competitors, not just at black belts, but at every belt color, blue through black, they really are a pro sports team and uh, doing some big things there in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So we have an international encounter on our hands here. We have the 2018 Pan Champion in the Roosterweight Division, Tomoyuki Hashimoto, taking on Mayram Alves. Right now you can see Alves taking his first stab at a passing the guard of Hashimoto. And this is a pretty strong leg drag position, Jake. And this is sort of a, a similar situation that we saw him use against Kevin Carrasco earlier. He forced the pass by stacking and then noticing how his uh, opponent would react, he would either keep going for the pass or he would dive underneath for his back attack. And that's what we see him going for here. Looking like he might come up, but see Tomiyuki's right leg staying as close to the center line as he possibly can to hopefully regather some sort of guard. But Mayrum seems like he really wants to attack the back now. You see to, uh, Tomiyuki really doing what he can to keep his shoulders on the mat, create a little bit of space, and you see Mayrum forced to disengage. Yeah, it's key that the way that he was able to kind of get that distant management back on track and now working this ankle lock grip, open guard position. See what the answer is here technically for, for Alves because you'll often see him explode past guards such as this. He is, we've said it before, very dynamic, very explosive competitor. He can be strategic when he needs to, but sometimes he'll just dive past people's guards. Oh my goodness. Moving very yeah. quickly. Seeing a little of that there. But Hashimoto. The last thing you want to do is get into a foot race with Mayram Alves. It's sort of a it's sort of a very measured, explosive approach, and it makes for very exciting jujitsu. But also, I love that it's it's not uh, unnecessarily. It's not like he's going for gratuitous setups or just trying to throw caution to the wind. He's being very intelligent and at the same time, very explosive. Oh, it, it's definitely this, it's very calculated, right? He knows when to jump on the gas, he knows when to back off, hit the brakes. He's a very experienced competitor, very smart, very intelligent. He just has that little flair to things, right? No, absolutely. And right here, you see, he's really exposing the back, but this could end up in a pass as well if he gets that right hand grip really deep. You see him looking for it right there, that that right hand grip on the collar. If he's able to get that deep, he could initiate a strong double underpass here. And great recovery from Tomoyuki Hashimoto. And I think it's going to be one of the keys to Tomoyuki winning this match as well. Uh, Mayrum going to be, Mayrum's key is going to be opening up and getting a really good passing situation or opening up one of his back attacks. And Tomoyuki, I think he's going to need to really just settle in and stifle the pre stifle the pressure, stifle the speed of Mayrum Alves. Because as we've seen right here, if you give Mayrum even a little bit of an opening, it's going to be, it could net a lot. As we near the halfway point of this match, it seems like it's been mostly the aggressiveness of Mayrum Alves as the tail of the match. And you know, he does have an advantage, so being up by one advantage, Tomiyuki forced constantly into sort of a stack position, trying to gather some sort of underhook on the leg or a guard underneath. The flexibility of Hashimoto in these positions. Most people, you, you get into a deep sort of near pass like that, the way that Alves is using that Toriander grip and sequence to 
go the legs by, and most people would fold, but Hashimoto is so comfortable with that pressure. I think with experience at the highest level, you kind of have to be. You know, if, you're not, if you're not used to getting uh, your back Smashed bent a little in bit. some horrible, <laughs> awful way, then you're in for a rude awakening when uh, someone like Mayor Malvez forces it to be like that. Look at this stack position here from Malvez, the way that he has Tomoyuki Hashimoto basically pancaked. And yet, still can't find a way around the guard. And now, looking to potentially go for a hard back take here is Miram Alves. He tried to throw in. Both butterfly hooks around the hamstrings of Tomoyuki Hashimoto. A lot of people call that a crab ride. And that is a good way to provide yourself with leverage with your feet to slowly climb up your partner's back. It's a very effective variation of the bigger bowl. A lot of people are doing it from the feet nowadays. They're doing yeah. it from the yeah. top and sort of like Tam Tommy Langacker esque. They're just rolling underneath to take the back. Yeah. Why bother passing the guard if you can go direct to the back? Fundamentalists everywhere just screamed when you said that. <laughs> and like you said, Howell, here we're seeing the, the patience and the the poise of Mayram Alves really being put to the test. When he has his way, it's violent and it's and it's fast. But Tomiyuki Hashimoto has been doing a really good job of sort of putting Mayram in a bunch of small negotiations to where Mayram has to make a choice that isn't always exactly what he wants, but he's maintained this only one advantage differential for most of the match. Still just the one advantage. The only thing on the scoreboard. And we're getting late into this match here. Thought that Hashimoto may try and come up off that position there, but Alves read the situation was up and away. Two minutes to go in this match. Oh, this time they were able to put the left foot flat on the leg of Tomoyuki. You see a lot more urgency out of Hashimoto's defense there. He's hooking the leg also of Mayor Malvez, preventing him from, from moving too far up his back, sort of anchoring him in place. Now it seems like Mayram really wants to get up on a pass. This is a bit of a different situation. That bottom grip could help him out a lot. But man, look at the resiliency of, of Tomoyuki Hashimoto, just stopping every pass that comes his way. It hasn't been enough to completely stifle the pressure of Mayram. He is still down by an advantage. And we haven't seen too much, too much secure offense from Tomoyuki, but we'll see if he looks to change that here in the last minute of the match. About 30 seconds left, Tomoyuki Hashimoto forced into a situation where he needs to open up. But Mayor Malvez, assuming he just continues with this forward pressure, will move on to the final of the 2022 Pan Championship.
Tomiyuki yeah, scooting too, forward. Too, too little, too late at this stage. Now that one advantage is so hard. To, it seems like such a minor, a minor thing, but in a match this close, an advantage is a huge, insurmountable. Here, how he wants the match to go. And if you get caught in that wave, if you get caught in that, that pace, and you don't allow...